Last week was another rough one for the U.S. dollar as the Federal Reserve's policies uncertainty with the next U.S. government stimulus as well as increasing coronavirus fears continued to weigh on the greenback. Meanwhile, the British pound easily took the top spot among the major currencies, rising higher on counter-currency weakness and improving UK economic updates. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Monday, we'll be eyeing the market manufacturing PMI numbers from the US and the euro area. Today, I'm looking at the euro dollar pair, which found resistance at 1.19 on Friday and continued its bearish ride during Monday's Asian session. The pair remains above the Ichimoku cloud, even on the four hour chart. So there is a chance it could find support at the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud at, or the 23% from last retracement level of 1.1635. Now, do you think this is it for the euro dollar per gains or do you think the drops are temporary? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.